Hi everyone, welcome to episode 6 of Tagtastic. The challenge that Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda is hosting this week. And this is episode 6. And we're making tag envelopes, or envelope tags. Well, I started with envelopes because that was what Tina was using. And I thought I wanted them copy dyed. However, my envelopes were very flimsy and I did not like the coffee dye job on it. So I decided to cover them with paper, pretty paper. And then I just got kind of carried away and I made lots. But then eventually, okay, so here's two I decorated. But this morning I was thinking about it and I thought, there is nothing wrong with using envelopes if you want to do that. However, um, I had some em envelopes that were so thick that I wouldn't have wanted to cover them with anything. So then I thought just a sturdier paper would work. So I have this music paper and Oh, just let me backtrack a little here. While I was, you know, getting really good at covering these envelopes, I ended up just wrapping them with paper and then gluing that down. And um, it worked really well. These are solid, they're sturdy. Um, yeah, so there's that factor. Then, this morning I thought you don't even need an envelope. You can just make one. Okay, where was I? I'm trying to film this while my husband is home, so because there's so much noise. Anyways, um, if it if this video seems more discombobulated than normal, that's because I have people home. <laughs> And yes, my husband is not people. So there we go. All right, so sometimes you may not have an envelope, so then why not make your own? So then I just grabbed this music paper because A, I love music paper, and B, it's sturdy enough. I don't need to um, double it up. So then I'm just going to decide how wide I want this and I think no wider than four inches for my size journals. So then I'm going to make, obviously it's going to be a pocket now instead of an envelope, but like I said, this is a workaround or if you want to make the covered envelopes and don't have one that's suitable. Um, yeah, so just another alternative. So I'm going to make like a flap. A section to fold over and then we're going to glue that down as well as at the bottom. Just so I know where to put the glue and then it's not going to um, make my pocket or envelope here smaller. This is how I wrapped my envelopes. Okay. Then made sure the crease was evident and then I did almost like you would make like a coin envelope I guess so 
Oh. Yeah, I kind of got carried away with this one and made a whole bunch, so I will have lots to play with. Okay, so in fact, if I wanted to make it a little wider, like a roomier envelope, I could just glue it here, I think. And then put this to the inside and glue it there. And I haven't decided how tall this one's going to be yet. Obviously the tag shape will come into play when we um, decide how tall we want it. Okay, so I'm just sealing the edges. That way I don't have to trim anything down. And the bottom is done now. Well, that's our envelope, our pocket. All right, so how tall do I want it? I actually didn't mind the size of this one. So roughly there. And then just do the sides. Honestly, these are so much fun. And you can obviously make them out of any paper. Just if it's thin, I would suggest doubling it up. Unless you don't mind a flimsy envelope. Okay. So if you look inside here, um, way at the bottom, you can see the, the flap. So this one, is, it's a little roomier than your typical pocket. So, all right, then I decide which is the front. I kind of got this not quite even. I could probably trim that down if I wanted to because there's more glue in there than just that tiny little strip. There. Problem fixed. Then I'm going to ink this because I inked all the other ones too. And in fact, I think I inked them on both sides because I'm not planning to glue these down. I'm pro probably going to insert them with a paper clip or something. So yeah, the series has been great for increasing my stash. And sometimes I say to myself, what am I going to do with all this stuff? <laughs> But, you know, it's nice to have things ready for when you do make those journals that you have something to put in there. Otherwise, you start making your journal and then you have to stop and make the things to go in it. So I like this better. All right, so there it is. And all we have to do now, or all we get to do now, is decorate it. So, for these two, I put like this faux tab. Well, it's not faux, it is a tab. But I just put it on one side to kind of help um, see where the opening was. So there's that. And um, this is a perfume bottle cut out that I found on Creative Fabrica. This digital image I got from digitalcollage.com. These are the hot glue seals that I made. Now with this image I did do the 
tea bag thing where I glued it down and it made it look really old. And then I sewed around. So that's that one and I think it's so pretty because I this is actually the first time I've ever used a perfume bottle. And again, that's Tina's influence. So um and too, Tina has some really pretty things on her website and in her Etsy shop. Just saying. Um, I'd love to get some of those things. <laughs> Anyways, we work with what we have. Okay, so then this one is a homemade label that I made. And I sewed that onto a back and gave it a decorative edge. Then... These are the butterflies I made and a cutout of a rose. I don't know where that came from, but. So this one, I just put the bling up top there to indicate that there's something going on there. So hopefully that will be evident. All right, so for this one, what should we do? Um, to make like a label or something. Or I have have these. This is a snippet roll I started and it could be like the backdrop of a cluster. It looks too straight for me though but I sewed it so I don't know how well it would tear but we can try right. Might tear all the stitching out. I'll just rough it up a little. So that could be like a backdrop. Ink it up, of course. There's so many ways you could go with this. I mean, there's really no right and wrong. I saw Tina is using some of the things that she has on her desk. And well, I've got plenty of things on my desk, so you may have seen some of them before, but. By the time they all make it into the journal, it's not going to be a problem, I think, so. I think that's, sorry, still too, maybe too big, I don't know. And two, I don't really know what I want to put on it, but. So. Let me see if I have anything, maybe something fussy cut that could work. I keep my fussy cuts in this box that I made. That's probably too big. Nope, it's not too big. Do I want a bird on there though? It's kind of a black and white bird. A lot of birds and I do a lot of flowers because that's mainly what I have. And I usually go for the flowers. That and then I made some tags not tags, I made some labels with my channel name on it. And I've been looking for somewhere where I could put those. That might work. I'm gonna do that. And no, I did not think of this beforehand. 
Now I just have to remember where I'm going to put it. I think this was on this side. Oh, do I need some lace? where I would put it. I think I want part of that plant in back and part behind. Yeah, part in front and part behind. Okay, let's do I don't remember where I got this from, but it was in a magazine or in a book, I don't know. I see it has some other image on the back, so That's okay. I could have inked that. Why don't I think of these things on time? So that's actually a nice size pocket for like, for me, what I would consider larger images than that, so that's not bad. Have this cheap bling from Dollar Store. And for some reason this was saying I need some pearls. So they actually seem quite sticky, but I don't know how long that's gonna be the case. And two, do I want one or do I want like a line of them? I'm thinking maybe a line of them. Do three. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, my camera decided to turn off. So, anyways, there are the pearls, and that is yet another one of these. So yeah, I think I have almost 10 of them now, so I shall just show them to you. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wow, I have exactly 10, so. Seven that are ready to be decorated, and then these three that are ready to go. So 
So yeah, go check out the series if you haven't yet and uh, play along. It's great fun and um, I already met some people that I didn't know existed before this and so I have some new channels to watch and I've got some new people following my stuff so um, the community part is really cool when you start doing the challenges and uh, if I had known that I might have started a long time ago. All right, so that's it, and this is episode six, and I'll try to do another soon. So the challenge is almost over, the series, but you can still obviously make a lot of things. So, all right, have a great day, and God bless. See you next time.